Well, I've competed on the National Skeleton Team for 19 years, almost two decades, and you would think a sport flying headfirst on your stomach down a sheet of ice at 145 kilometers an hour, that concussions would just be a part of it, and that's not something I was aware of at all. My first experience was hitting my head, uh, losing control of my sled on, in the outrun, and hitting it quite hard. Um, the symptoms that I experience were obviously the, the mood altering state that I was in, the fogginess, the zingers, the pain that I would get across diagonal, across my skull, the sharp pain that would stop me in my tracks. I was able to get through that over the last few years, but what was happening this past summer would happen in the dry land aspect of, of our training. We train like track and field athletes, so when any time my blood pressure would raise, I would experience some of the symptoms, so that was very difficult to, to get through because you're training, you're trying to be as fast and as strong as possible so that you can um, be better by a tenth of a second. And um, yeah, I, I was in bed for four days, vertigo, the nauseousness, um, definitely the depressed type mood, the altering state, the it, it was it was awful, absolutely awful. And I was fortunate that I had a sponsor suggest Valentis and um, I was desperate. I was desperate to try anything and, and not just to try and compete at another Olympic Games. It was more to try and get my, my life back because I wasn't a functioning member of society or even within my family and, and friend circle. When um, I remember it was probably day three of the therapy, I was able to finally have that natural deep breath that we all take for granted all the time. Lots of times you get to carry all that anxiety in your chest and you just can't get that deep breath of air. And that came back and I knew all of a sudden my visualizations of, of me on my sled and training was coming naturally and I was relaxed and I knew I was on the path to recovery. The sessions definitely were the, the, the reason that I was able to compete at my third Olympic Games for sure. And yes, I'm grateful that I have had another opportunity to represent this great country, but I am so much more grateful that I can just function like a regular human being again and not worry about waking up and having those types of headaches or that anxiety or that fog um, of trying to make my breakfast and, and cleaning my knife three times when I'm cutting my peppers and my onions or something like that. Something that you just take for granted of how you actually function in everyday life. And um, I know for sure that it has put me in the, the, right, the right step for, for my health. I think Concussion is something that is so uh, prominent in our media talks right now that we need to think about the symptoms because maybe it's not necessarily a concussion that you're experiencing, but it is, um, it's just that lack of motivation, that fog, the headache, the, the pain that you're experiencing. It doesn't really matter where it came from. If that's how you're feeling, you gotta come in and you have to take your health into your own hands. That's exactly what you need to do because it is such a small amount of time commitment um, for the rest of your life. I wouldn't say there's just hope, there's actually, this is actually an answer, a complete answer.